Okay, and we talked to Balthazar, so he is going to open up the sand barrier. Since we turned down the sensors, apparently he's in charge of that, and he can do it with his mind, because he didn't have to press a button or anything. And down goes the sand barrier, which is clearly full of sand on the other side. Thank you for, for having a barrier there. That was very much needed. Well done, old man. Right, what? How old are you? <laughs> There's a gear far superior than all the others. The god gear! Am I gonna have to fight it, or do I get it? Come on, it's gotta be one of them. Created with the wisdom of God! would have the power of a thousand years with a wave of its arm it could destroy whole cities its battle cries would thunder into heavens you must be speaking of the omni gear i want the omni gear can i have please those stories were made to inspire man's soul but they're just legends they don't really exist there's no such thing as the omni gear are you stupid I want the Omni Gear. It could be buried in the ground somewhere. No. No, dude. The first gear of the game cannot be the best gear ever. No. Apparently, the older, the better. Except. Yeah, what? Buried after a great war. Okay, so most of them come out with bullet holes. That's always nice to know. How do you... How do you not know these this, these kinds of things, Faye? The ethos controls all the records from that time period. Right. It's from the little pieces that we find for ourselves. There's no school or nothing. Why would such an old man live all alone in this abandoned cave? Um, he's got some perverse thoughts, man. Ugh. Don't take all that stuff seriously. They're only legends. He's up to something. This can't be. Uh, yeah. Totally mine. It fell in my lap. Um... It fell off a truck. A really, really, really big truck. This is the host for the spirit of the Slayer of God? Oh, super. No, let's just ignore that. Slayer. So Fade does it, is what he's saying. And it's already been written. And I am going to be killing God at some point in this game, is what Balthazar is saying. And he's freaking Balthazar. What, the, the one of the wise men's going to lie to me? That's not going to happen. All right, so we're going to save up. I'm probably going to heal up. And then we're going to head out into the sand barrier. Be right back. Okay, so apparently the cutscene healed our, our gears. That, that works for me. Just would like to notice. But yes, the gears are fully healed, and now it's time to move on, and I see something over there that I kind of want to check out, but I can't really do it yet. I see a save point, and I see two ropes. Um, what? Do I want to get on the gondola? I think so. Apparently I have to get out of my gear to get on the go- oh, that, that was the gondola? There's no Italian guy singing or nothing. Oh, this is the worst trip to Venice ever. Oh, if there are gear-sized enemies on this side, I'm going to be pissed. Main power generator. Let's turn it on. Is there... I can't... I am, like, off the map here and okay I don't I don't really see anything so 
Let's get back on. Want to get on the gondola? Yes. Yeah. There, there's no, there's no guy singing "Asa no Mio" or anything. And the gear just, th you see the gears turning? The hell was that? And they just instantly get back in. No. Don't have to do it myself. Okay. Then we ride the elevator. And it won't let me change the camera while it's doing it. Thank you. Okay, so I want to go this way. And Oh, we get into another fight. Okay, I don't like that. I'm not seeing anything over here, so I'm going to go west instead. And west takes me nowhere. Okay, so we're dropping into the little excavation side here. It looks like I can jump back up if I need to. Um, okay. It is very useful that they give me this compass. Otherwise, I'd have no idea where the hell I'm going, and I still don't, really. Um, oh, this is the way up. Oh. Okay. And sorry about that, we have to go back here to this sensor. You remember this sensor? Uh, the one that was close by. I forgot what it's called. The... The West Grotto Sand Sensor. Uh, you'll notice a box over there that I didn't see because I didn't turn the camera. So let's go up there, and what do we get? We get an iron G whip that is an upgraded upgraded weapon for the brigandier. If I can find out. Oh, there we go. We have to go to gear equip, sorry. And it increases it by six, which is definitely worth it. I will meet you back at that other save point that we were just at. Okay, let's go down this elevator here. Thank you. Thank you for doing it finally. They put a save point there. I'm going to use it. I know this game far too well to avoid save points. So we're going to come down here and hopefully this will leave us, lead us out even though it went, you know, down. Holy crap. Not only was that loud, that was intense. Oh, oh, okay, let, let's, let's move the camera so that I can actually see. Can I make the jump? <laughs> no, I cannot. So how do I get back up there? That way would be death. So let's avoid that way. Yes, I get it. You're a boss. Finally he lands, and now it's time to take him on. Okay, so we're up against the boss here. Um, what I want to do here is I'm going to start with a wild smile. You know, they gave it to me for a reason, and boss fights are the reason. Accuracy and evasion is now down. Okay, so we're going to start off with just a regular attack, basic attack from Faye, and he goes for the attack. Oh man, if this is going to be your attack, this is going to take forever. That's insane. Okay. It's his turn? It's Faye's turn again? Okay, whatever. And we're going to go for refuse pretty much the entire time because they do 208 damage. We're going to do the same thing with the brigandier, basic attack, just to make sure it hits, and he's probably gonna miss because I used wild smile. Yeah, he's not immune to it, so we're gonna go ahead and use it and exploit it and all that good stuff. You know, screw it. X, X, mofo. Chain whip now. Nice, 179 damage. Hey, does so much more though. Oh, oh, I don't know what those are, but they don't look fun. And 463 damage. Okay. Um, die by repel.
You know what? Screw it. Booster. And then X. Yeah, we get to show off his X attack. His strong attack. Oh, I bet these things never miss. 466. Good lord, the fall damage. You use a booster as well. Because we want you to attack as soon as possible. I'm not sure if it increases damage output. I don't think it does. Uh, no, it doesn't really look like it. I think it just increases speed, but that is definitely something that I need to do right now. Is increase my speed while I'm kicking this guy's butt. Why did I say butt? That's weird. Whatever. You, you really have to use both your rockets just to come over here and try to hit me with that thing? Really? I don't think I've mentioned this before, but the uh, death blows, the combos that your gears use, uh, correspond to whether or not you have the, gear, the, the death blows learned for your character. So because uh, Bart only has the one death blow, that he can only use the one death blow in his gear because Faye knows two of them, he can use two. The, the, I forgot the first one, and the Repu. This guy has got a ton of HP, but that's fine. We've got a ton of fuel, thanks to our upgrades. And pretty much the fact that I didn't fight very many people along the way here. And... Oh, we hit that time. Yeah, my biggest concern is not... Um, is not my HP. It's my fuel, because my fuel is already, as you can see, less than half. But so is his HP. So hopefully my fuel won't run out before his does. Or his HP does. But it looks like I'm doing pretty good so far. Getting the repus going. 200 damage. Of course, Faze will run out first because he's been using a stronger attack in terms of death blows. I want to know the name of the attack. I wish they would show me the name of the attack instead of the name of the enemy when he launches that kind of stuff. More, you know, 500 damage, that's fine. I can t still take a couple more of those. He's gotta be getting close to dead now. It's gotta be getting there. There we go. And down goes Calamity. All show and no power. Uh, pretty much thanks to Wild Smile. Dot, 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 dot. I don't even know what that means. Looks like that's the exit, so let, let's go. And then we can never team up again, ever again. Oh crap, he got up. And Faye just stood there. Whoa. Dun dun. I can hear Faye's heartbeat. It's glitching out the screen. No, that's actually part of the game. Get out of the way, Bart! I'll save you! Oh, what the hell? How come you don't do that in battle, dude? Yes, uh, Calamity had to get back into position before he died. And now he's blown up. Yeah, what the hell did you just do? And why didn't you do it in the fight? I, what combination was that? Was that like square X? What was that? Was that like X X? What in blazes was that? Don't you know? N no. No, I do not. I er, uh, I don't know. No, of course not. You never know, dude. You just blew that thing to pieces. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> That's what I've been saying this whole time. Thank you, Bart. Why don't we just ask the obvious question? 
why don't you use these powerful techniques in battle? Yeah, I don't know how I did it. You should record it somehow, and then you could look at the tape, and then you would know how you did it. Thanks for helping me out. Thank you for the weird camera angle as well. Now we've got rid of that nuisance. Let's get out of here. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Out. Time to leave. I don't like this cave. No mo. Okay. Now. Uh, oh. There we go. I was about to say. They wouldn't let me out. But. Oh. He knocked down something. So now I can go. No. Wait. That's the way I came in. Isn't it? Yeah. This is the way I wanted to go. Can I do it? Do I have to stand on here and then jump up? No, that didn't help any. Well, then how am I supposed to do it? I mean, am I just not making the jump properly? Come on. You're killing me, Larry. You're, you you can't be serious. I can't figure out how to get up there. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> 